Now that we know where to store a database on each of our platforms, let's move on to integrating a SQLite database into our apps. Now, SQLite is a lightweight local database, and it's become the industry standard for mobile apps. It's open source, and it does not run on a server, and it doesn't require any configuration. That SQLite database is stored in a single file in the local file system, with those reads and writes being performed against this file. And of course, SQLite is cross-platform, making it an ideal choice to use across your Android, iOS, and Windows apps. Now, the SQLite native libraries are built into Android and iOS, but they're not present in Windows. And this means that if you're targeting any of the Windows platforms, then it must be added to your application. Now we're going to use a NuGet package, which includes a version of the SQLite runtime when it's added to a Windows application. However, there is one extra step you'll need to perform for Windows, which we'll talk about in just a minute. But first, let's take a deeper look at SQLite. Now the SQLite engine exposes a C++ API, which is then accessed by .NET through a C-sharp wrapper. We can then use a third-party library that provides a higher-level C-sharp API to that SQLite database. And there are several great options to choose from. Now, the SQLite mono libraries use an ADO.NET style, which is fairly well known and relatively easy to work with. However, its performance is not as strong as some of the other approaches. It does work on iOS and Android, but there's no official support for Windows Phone or UWP, and generally it's not considered a modern approach and it's not preferred anymore. There's also a Microsoft-created lightweight library for SQLite, and it's fairly new, uh, and it's a high-performance wrapper directly over the C++ API, uh, but there's minimal documentation. Uh, it does support iOS, Android, and Windows Phone. It doesn't support UWP. And finally, we have SQLite.net, and this is the most common approach being used today. It's simple to use, performance is strong, supports all of our target platforms, and it's very stable and very widely used. And since this is the most common approach, this will be the one we're going to focus on today. But just keep in mind, you have other options. SQLite.net is an ORM, or Object Relational Mapping, and ORMs simplify the process of defining database schemas by mapping model objects in your source code to tables in your database. Now, the schema is ID'd through attributes, and we'll discuss these in the next section. But ORMs remove the need to write SQL statements, and they allow us to interact with our data using C-sharp expressions. To use SQLite.net, we need to add a NuGet package, and you must add the component to each of your projects. So in a Xamarin form solution, this would include each platform specific project and any PCLs that need to access the SQLite database. There are several published implementations, so make sure to install the version labeled SQLite-net PCL, and it should have a single author, Frank Kruger. And when you add the component, you'll get two packages. The SQLite.NET PCL is the core assembly, and this includes everything to identify the data entities as well as the high-level classes used to create, query, and work with those entities. Now, a second component, SQLitePCL.raw, that provides the raw C-sharp wrapper around that C++ API. This is used by the core assembly to access the database, and unless you need to talk to the underlying API, you can generally ignore this component and just let it do its work. Now remember that SQLite native libraries are built into Android and iOS, but they're not present in Windows. And so in Windows, the SQLite runtime is provided in that included raw NuGet package. Now that database engine is written in C++, and it's included as a binary. And that binary has a dependency on the visual C++ runtime, and you'll need to add that reference. And to do that, you'll open the references, go to extensions, and select visual C++ 2013 runtime. Now, currently you need to use the 2013 version even when later versions are available, as this is what the SQLite PCL raw is compiled against. 
and here we're showing Windows Phone 8.1, but the same requirement applies to Windows 8 and UWP. And if you forget to add this reference, you will get a type initialization error from SQLite being unable to load the runtime DLL.